Hello. I'm okay, Kai. <laughs> and I sing and stuff. I will stand by you forever. I've never felt that in my life about anyone. It's so sad. Let me be your hero. Singing with Kaya, take one. My heart is pounding. My heart is sweat. My heart's got ducklings swimming in it. My heart's got ducklings strong. A lot of the songs that I write about are ridding myself of shame or thinking this is something I can't talk about because it's something I've learned to be ashamed of. The musical aspect is trying to make something that is maybe not so pleasurable, pleasurable. And then in terms of the lyrics that I'm writing, like the more bleak it is, I need to spice it up. I have the world's smallest studio, and I'm about to show you. All you need is a key. Ta-da! This is where sometimes magic happens. Um, a lot of frustration, <laughs> sometimes magic. This is where I spend um, most of my frustration. Um, it's like under here. Sometimes I just give up and look at the slither of light that comes through my window. A lot of being in this studio slash living room has to do with uh, not making art at all, but uh, reading. I'm just finishing this Simone Weil book that I need to pair with another book to kind of not uh, just fu fully go under. A lot of the creative input that I get is th through reading or watching films, um, which it always has been. But I think when traveling, these little pockets of time happens where you are kind of isolated in a completely different way than being like, I'm in my apartment, I can write a song now. Like an airplane, for example, is this weird capsule of time where all sorts of interesting creative things can happen because you're kind of st stuck there, in the sky, in a chair. Um, and so, yeah, I wonder what that would feel like these days. A journey kind of brings all that, because you have a goal, but all the things that happen in between because of random encounters can inspire or stimulate you in so many ways that, yeah, 
that takeout on Netflix might not be able to provide <laughs> every moment. <laughs> The song is called Asexual Well-Being. I was at a karaoke bar and I thought that I would try to sing Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye, which was a horrible, terrible idea. Uh, and I completely bombed it, and then I was kind of drunk, and I just went home. I was uh, uh, just kind of thinking about what would it feel like if I were to write a song about uh, sex and well-being, and then I thought about the Rihanna song, where she's saying sex with me so amazing, and kind of tried to be as true to myself in that moment. I'm not saying I'm, like, objectively bad in bed, but in that moment, um, I really did feel very mediocre, which is like almost worse than bad somehow. Well, at least in like music. So, not in sex, I guess. Sometimes I rub my ghost stick until I can almost see it But right now all I need is your cerebral per diem That midnight van Lewin Netflix and yeast infection I know sex with me is mediocre, but I can give you a sexual well-being. Sex with me is mediocre, but I can probably feel what you're feeling. Rockstar stands, but I'm still not.